Oh man, oh man. YouTube. I ain't gonna lie. I'm nervous as hell of this unboxing. I'm not, this is not clickbait. I'm not putting on a front. I'm not acting. I'm not being dramatic. I'm not, I'm literally nervous as fuck about the shoe that I got in here. And um, let me just give you a backstory. Now, if you watch my Air Max uh, video, my Air Max collection video that I said, I said it's a grail. This is actually a grail to me. This is a grail to me. This is heat. This is fire. This is flames. Like, if you go on GOAT, I bought this shoe on GOAT. But if you go on GOAT and you look up my size, my size 11 and a half, these are going for like $400, $450, $420. And um, the price that I got this for is... Uh, <laughs> I'm nervous, bro. But I did buy this from GOAT. But like I said on my other videos, no matter where you buy your shoe from, if you do not buy your shoe from the retail store, you should always get it legit checked. You should always make sure, cross your T's, dot your I's. Don't just take people's words for it, all right? And I'm nervous, bro. I'm nervous because like I said, I got this from StockX and this was a shoe that I really wanted bad. But I wasn't trying to spend the crazy bread. I wasn't going to spend $400, $350, $380 on this shoe. But GOAT does have a section where you can buy used shoes. And I don't have a problem buying used shoes. As long as it's in good condition, hey, I, I really don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like That's the best way to stock up your shoe uh, collection and to get good prices on shoes. Is If you have the intentions of actually wearing your shoes when someone sells a used shoe and it's like slightly worn like so what who gives a fuck and and normally it's gonna be under retail or under the resale value you know what i mean and i think i bought this for like 120 no 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 220 I bought this for 220 and that's that's still like a mm, something ain't right because on goat there's used pairs going for like 350 three it's, it's just I ain't gonna lie, it's a lot of red flags. But I just took one for the team. I said, you know what? We gonna see, cause it's a lot of red flags with this shoe. And I'm gonna show y'all. <clears throat> I'm nervous, bro. I seriously need y'all help. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if these are fake or if they are real. Um, and if you say they fake, like leave a description. Like. Don't just troll and be like, oh, they fake, they, they fake. No, tell me why, exactly why it's fake. What are some of the clues? What are some of the details that makes you think they're fake? Because I don't know that this shoe is real or not. <clears throat> like I said, I got it from GOAT. As you can tell, when you buy goat boxes, you can see like it says goat in the in the inside of the box. So boom shakalaka. You can tell I got these from goat. <sighs> Somebody's knocking at my door, hold on. Delivered the wrong shit. But anyway, red flag off the rip. This is not. <laughs> Why is it so loose? This is not the box that it came with. All right. Flag number one. Well, that doesn't mean that it's a fake shoe because when you sell shoes on GOAT and it's a used shoe, you can have the option of telling people, hey, you don't have the original box, you can ship it in a replacement box or you can ship it with no box. But uh, this is flag number one, right? Quote, unquote. Flag number two is... <laughs> this, 
These niggas literally. <laughs> I can't make this up, bro. I can't make this up. These niggas literally wrote the name of the shoe, Air Max 95, the greedy. So you know what shoe this is. But when I see, <laughs> look at this. They got the barcode and everything on there, bro. <laughs> Oh man, I can't make this up if I wanted to, man. But as you see, these are the Air Max 95 Greedies. Now, I don't know if they're real legit. The box looks, it's a replacement box. They handwritten the motherfucking label. The price that I got it for is I pay like $220, which is a crazy ass price for this shoe. Like when you go on StockX or GOAT, a brand new pair goes for like Three fifty, three four hundred dollars. You know, it just, it just depends on the size. I don't know what condition this shoe is in. <laughs> it's so many red flags, bro. It's so many red flags. <laughs> let's see, man. Let's see. We got the goat. Who gives a fuck about a box? <laughs> the condition of this shoe is not that bad, actually. I mean, for the price that I got it for, it's really not that bad. Like, the condition, okay, it's, it's uh, okay. It's, I mean, for $220? Oh, God. Hey, y'all leave a comment down below. The Air Max 95 Greedies. One thing that I did not notice in the pictures that I definitely see now is this right here. Look at that part right there. God damn. <laughs> I mean, but I can't complain because 220 is a good price for this. I mean, of course it's used as hell. And wow, what the fuck? Like, bro, look at that part right there, bro. Look at that part right there. I mean, but other than that, I mean, it's definitely dirty. It's definitely dirty. Look at the stains right here, bro. <laughs> I think this is a fail. I think this is a definitely fail. But I, I wonder if, if I can clean this up. Can I clean this up? Because look at this, bro. Look at that stain right there, bro. Look at this. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. I think this is... I don't know how I feel about this. I'm going to try to clean this up. I'm going to try to clean this up and we're going to see how it works. But 220 for these? Y'all tell me, man. Y'all tell me. Look at the condition of the shoe. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show y'all. Damn, my battery's about to go dead. God damn, this shoe looks. <laughs> oh man, I, I, I don't know how I feel about this, bro. I might have taken the L on this. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know, bro. Y'all leave a comment. I mean, but it looks good right here, right? It looks, it looks good. Like this side looks good. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't expecting like a DS shoe. But this part up here is definitely dirty. So maybe maybe I can just clean this off and, you know, put some work into it. You know what I'm saying? And maybe 
it will come out a little bit better. God damn, but look at that part right there, bro. Maybe, maybe I can just clean that up, man. That's what I'm thinking. And it'll, 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 it'll come out a little better. <laughs> oh, man. But these are the greedies, man. These are the <laughs> My battery's about to die. Y'all leave a comment down below. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this right right now. Um, yeah, I, I don't. I, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this, man. But the greedies. This is a dope shoe. This is a shoe that I definitely want in my collection. I did not want to pay that three hundred and fifty fifty dollars. You know, some sometimes. Hey, life. You pay for it for what you get. You know what I'm saying? Take that as a lesson learned. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. It could be in better condition, but you pay for what you get. You know what I'm saying? So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna clean these up. My battery about to die. It's your boy Damn D. I don't know how I feel about this. Comment, like, subscribe. Make sure you go watch my candy cane video of the 14s. I did a prediction video of that. <laughs> go check that out up here. Click that box. Let me know. I, I don't know what to say, bro. I'm about to go clean these right now. It's your boy Damn D. <laughs> Oh shit, bro! I took an L. I think I took an L, man. It's your boy DMD. I'm signing out. But it's, it's, it's still clean, though. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out.